Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing today? I hope you're doing good. If you're new to my channel, hey my name is Jeriani and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a really popular video. It's been a long time since I got my nails done, you know, with everything that's going on right now, all the nail salons are closed. So I can't go out and get my nails done, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to go out, I'm going to give me some press on nails, and I'm going to make something work, all right? So, yeah, basically, I just went out, got some kids press on nails from, like, my near right aid, and... I'm gonna go ahead and use those nails and try to make them look cute if you guys are new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of the family and with that being said let's get right into the video all right so there are gonna be a couple of things that you're gonna need for this video you're gonna need a bowl of water nail polish remover of nail filer some cotton balls nail polish of your choice a nail clipper and some nail glue and of course the most important part the press on nails you can also decide to use a small towel and put it on whatever surface you're using to do this whole process just in case you don't want to make a mess but then once again that's optional all right so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and take that bowl of water what i did was a, i put a little bit of hand soap in it however you can do whatever you want i'm going to soak my hands for a couple minutes make sure that my hands are soft and nice to work on and then what i'm going to do is i am going to try to push my cuticles back you know you, you you're supposed to do this every time you put fake nails on or acrylics or press hands and I don't have a cuticle pusher, so this is going to be real ghetto. But listen, you can use whatever you have at home. You don't got to get fancy with this. I'm going to use the back of the nail clipper and use that to push my cuticles back. Okay, so now that I finished doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that nail filer on the nail clipper and i'm going to use that to clean my nails out and make sure that there's not any dirt or any nasty stuff in my nails that's not supposed to be in it so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i will be right back in a second i'm also going to go ahead and clip my nails because every time i go to the nail salon they never want to cut my nails up so i'm going to make sure i cut my nails down that way they're as short as possible and they won't be peeping through the press on nails because that's not cute okay next i'm going to go in with some nail polish remover and a cotton ball i'm just gonna put this on my nails to like clean them off i didn't have any alcohol laying around in my house and i didn't feel like looking for it so i'm just going to use some nail polish remover and use that to clean my nails off and then i'm going to go in with a nail filer and start filing my nails down usually they would do this at the nail salon where they would just take the little drilling tool and drill my nails down to get rid of any oils helping the nails to stick on better and then afterwards i'm just gonna rinse it off with some water and dry my hands all right so i actually feel so dumb because i really went out and bought nail glue and i didn't even read the instructions like the whole time the press on nails came with their own separate glue and i didn't even know that and it came with like this little toothpick too i guess i could have used that to push down my cuticles but i didn't realize it until afterwards and it brought a nail file so i didn't even need all of that like it came with it but whatever now i'm just trying to decide on which glue i'm gonna use and i'm probably gonna end up using the pink one which is the one that the press on nails came with just because and then if i want to do this again maybe i'll just use the other glue and leave that for another day so what you guys see me doing here is i'm basically finally about to go in and 
pick out the right press on nail size for my natural nail and once I have all that done we can start applying the press ons to the natural nail bed. Alright, I don't really follow instructions, I kind of just do my own thing, but on the instructions it did say to apply glue on the press-on and also on your natural nail. I guess this is just supposed to secure the nail onto your natural nail more. The more glue you apply, the better, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Of course, once I'm done putting the nail on, I'm gonna make sure I press down for like five seconds. On the instructions, it said five seconds, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and probably keep on pressing my nail down for like about 10, 15 seconds just to make sure that it's real secure and that it's not gonna go nowhere. As you guys can see, I'm just continuing the same process for all my nails. I'm going to show you guys how I do this on my left hand and then I'm going to go ahead and do my right hand off camera and I'll be back when I'm finished with that. So as you guys can see right here, I actually had to go back to the little nail kit and change out some sizes because some of the nails were too big or either too small. So I wanted to make sure they were just about the right size because I don't want my nails to look crazy. Okay, so like I said, I went off camera and I did my right hand. So now that I'm done with both of these hands, um, usually press on nails come with like this little rough part at the top that you usually had to file down, which is annoying. I don't know why they do that, but I'm going to go ahead and with my nail file and just file that top part down to make sure that all my nails are nice and even, nice and straight. Alright, so now that I finished filing my nails down or whatnot, I'm going to go ahead and, and choose my nail color. I didn't really have a lot of options because I don't do my nails at home. I always go get my nails done. And I really only usually do my pedicures at home. And I only really had two colors, which was either the pink or the white. And as you guys can see, I went with the white because you can never go wrong with the white nails. It just looks classy, sleek, and it matches with everything. Now, out of everything, this is probably the most challenging part of this challenge because, oh my god, like, white nail polish is so messy. And not only that, I was trying to paint press-on nails, which made it even harder. So, yeah, I was kind of struggling doing this, and it didn't really turn out looking so cute. But it's okay because I have a way to fix it. I want to show you guys at the end. I'm just gonna go ahead and of course repeat the same process for each nail and I'm gonna do my right hand off the of camera just to save some time and I will see you guys once I'm done with that.
right so this is what my nails are looking like so far they don't look the best i know they have like little extra nail polish on my cuticle or whatever but like i said i got a way to get rid of that and make it look cute and presentable but this is what they're looking like right now not too bad to be honest throughout this whole process i was kind of getting discouraged and i was like you know what i just want to just take the nail polish off and just leave it how they came but i was like nah i'm gonna go ahead and just get some nail polish remover a q-tip and go ahead and clean out my cuticles getting rid of all that excess nail polish that was not supposed to be on my nails As you guys can see, I finished going in with the nail polish remover, and I did the best I could. This is what they look like as of now, and they look good, to be honest. This is my first time doing something like this, so they're not too bad. I am going to go back in and try to, like, catch any imperfections and make it as perfect as I possibly can. Alright, so this is the final result. This is what my nails ended up looking like. I'm actually real proud of myself because they don't look too bad. I might end up doing another video like this. Just let me know what you guys want to see and I'll film it and upload it for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below any video suggestions. Make sure to click on that bell so you can notify every time I upload a new video and you can be the first one to watch my video. Most importantly, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can become a part of the family. And also, make sure to follow all my socials. I'm going to have it up on the screen. And with that being said, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.